हेलो एवरी वन यू आर वॉचिंग ऑनलाइन साइंस क्लास दिस चैनल इज स्पेशली फॉर दोज हु वॉन्ट टू लर्न साइंस वी आर हियर टू एक्सप्लोर योर साइंटिफिक नॉलेज एंड द वे ऑफ सींग ऑल थिंग्स इन नेचर टू वी विल ट्राई टू प्रोवाइड ऑल कंटेंट इन इंग्लिश हिंदी एंड ऑल्सो इन योर मदर लैंग्वेज वी आर हियर टू प्रोवाइड कंटेंट from class 6 to 12 for all parts science either physics chemistry or biology so dear students join with us and see the change in your scientific attitude and feel different please like and subscribe my channel also press the bell icon for notification so we are going to start your topic please watch full video हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द चैप्टर नंबर वन ऑफ क्लास सेवन दैट इज द न्यूट्रिशन इन प्लांट सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द चैप्टर वी विल अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द लिविंग एंड नॉन लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म लाइक ह्यूमन बीइंग प्लांट एंड एनिमल्स नीड फूड टू सर्वाइव एंड एग्जिस्ट लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म रिप्रोड्यूस रिस्पॉन्ड टू द एनवायरमेंट एंड ऑल्सो अडेप्ट लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म रेस्पायर and excrete as well nutrients nutrients are substance that allow your body to make energy build and maintain tissue and regulate body process there are six major nutrients carbohydrate lipid proteins vitamins minerals and water we have read in previous classes about the major source of carbohydrate protein fat vitamin minerals and also water is very essential part of our food it help to digest the food next is a cell cell are tiny units that help make up living organism hence they are also called building block of an organism cell is constituted of three major parts a thin outer layer called the cell membrane a spherical structure located at the center of the cell called nucleus a jelly like substance that surround the nucleus called the cytoplasm single and multicellular organism organism that are made up of just one cell are called single celled or unicellular organism example amoeba organism with more than one cell in their body are called multicellular organism all human beings plants and animals are multicellular organism nutrition nutrition is the mode of taking food by an organism and its utilization by the body nutrition is very important as the nutrient from the food consumed in every living organism to build their bodies and grow nutrition help to repair damage parts and organs nutrition also provide energy for carrying out various function type of nutrition there are two type of nutrition one is autotrophic nutrition next is the heterotrophic nutrition autotrophic is also two type that is photoautotrophic and chemoautotrophic heterotrophic is four type that is a parasitic saprophytic symbiotic and insectivorous we will read about them in later on autotrophs and heterotrophs organism that make food themselves are called autotrophs plant are an example of autotrophs as they make their own food using carbon dioxide water and light energy organism that rely on other and usually take in ready made food made by the autotrophs or called heterotrophs animals and human being are an example of heterotrophs as they depend on the plant in many ways for their food photosynthesis photosynthesis is the process of synthesis of food by green plants this process usually take place in the leaf of plant the process required chlorophyll that is green colored pigment sunlight carbon dioxide and water 
we will understand with the help of this figure that in presence of the sunlight the leaves of the plant capture sunlight and convert the carbon dioxide into the carbohydrate and release oxygen process of photosynthesis the process of photosynthesis take place in the leaves the, that is the food factory of plant carbon dioxide is taken in through tiny pore on the leaf called stomata water and minerals that are required for the process are transported to the leaf from the root through the stem chlorophyll help the leaves use energy from the sunlight to prepare food using carbon dioxide water and minerals oxygen oxygen is released as a by product by this process the equation is given as in presence of the light energy carbon dioxide and water converted into the carbohydrate and oxygen and the chlorophyll help in this process carbon dioxide is represented by co2 and water is represented by h2o in presence of light energy and chlorophyll they will form carbohydrate that is represented by c6 h12 o6 and oxygen is o2 chloroplast the chloroplast is type of organism that exist in plant these organel contain chlorophyll the green colored pigment that is responsible for carrying out process of photosynthesis in plant chlorophyll is the pigment that is responsible for the synthesis of food in green plant chlorophyll this pigment green colored to its bearer and is evidently found in leaf chlorophyll is locked inside the chloroplast chlorophyll help the leaves use the energy from the sunlight to prepare food using the carbon dioxide water and minerals oxygen is released as a by product by this process stomata carbon dioxide from air is taken in through tiny pore present on the surface of the leaf these pores are surrounded by gourd cell such pore are called stomata we can see with the help of this figure the gourd cell surround the pore this pore is known as the stomata parasite parasite is a heterotroph that completely depend on another organism for its food the organism to which the parasite latch on onto is called host the host in the process is deprived all the nutrient from its own growth as they are consumed by the parasite cascuta it is also known as the marbel is a non green plant that take ready made food from the plant on which it is growing the plant on which it is climb is called the host cascuta is a called parasite insectivorous plant plant that feed on insects are called insectivorous plant these plant are green and carrying out photosynthesis but they grow in nitrogen deficient soil so in order to get nitrogen they feed on insect these these insectivorous plant have their parts modified for attracting and catching insect for example the pitcher plant venus flytrap we can see with the help of this figure there is this is these are the modified part of the insectivorous plant that that help to cap, capture the insect to fulfill its nutrition deficiency which is caused by its soil saprotrophs organism which rely on dead and decaying matter for their food are called saprotrophs these mode of nutrition is called saprotrophic nutrition for example fungi fungi secrete digestive juice on the dead and decaying matter and convert it into the solution then they absorb the nutrient from it this is the example of the saprotrophs generally in rainy season and moist season we can see the presence of fungus on the slice of the bread other mode of nutrition that is a symbiotic relationship organism that live together and share their shelter and nutrients are said to be in symbiotic relationship certain fungi live in the root of the tree the tree provide nutrient nutrients to the fungus 
and in return receive help from it to take up water and nutrients from the soil this association work well for both fungi and tree so this is the symbiotic relationship lichen is a common example of symbiotic relationship in which fungus and algae live together a chlorophyll containing partner which is an algae and fungus live together the fungus provides shelter water and minerals to the algae and in return the algae prepare and provide food to the fungus nutrients being replenished in the soil plant absorb mineral nutrient from the soil in order to make their own food and for the important process soil need to be enriched with nutrients such as nitrogen phosphorus potassium etc regularly only then can we grow plant and keep them healthy there are 17 most important nutrient for the plant six are called macronutrients and rest are called micronutrients macronutrients are required in large quantity while micronutrients are required in very small quantities nitrogen fixation nitrogen fixation is an important nutrient required for soil and for plant however nitrogen in the atmosphere is not easily accessible the process by which nitrogen is converted into a form that can be used by plant and other living organisms is called nitrogen fixation rhizobium bacteria is a type of bacteria that convert atmospheric nitrogen into soluble form that can be used utilized by the plant we can see with the help of the figure it usually reside the root of leguminosae plant like peas gram moong etc and is instrumental in providing this plant with a rich source of nitrogen the bacteria provide a plant with nitrogen that they fix and in turn they get shelter and food from the plant thanks for watching we will provide you next topic 